Russian President Vladimir Putin has faced backlash after claiming that Jewish Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is a disgrace to his faith. Critics argue that Putin's focus on Zelensky's Jewish identity is an attempt to divert attention from Russia's aggression against Ukraine. У меня много друзей евреев с детства. Они говорят, Зеленский не еврей. Это позор еврейского народа. In a recent statement, Russian President Vladimir Putin made controversial remarks about Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who is Jewish. During an economic forum in St. Petersburg, Putin claimed that Zelensky is seen as a disgrace to his faith by other Jewish individuals. Putin went on to criticize Zelensky for an allegedly supporting neo-Nazis and accused him of putting them on pedestal. However, Putin's comments were met with swift responses. Former Israeli minister Nathan Sheransky expressed pride in having a Jewish president in Ukraine and praised Zelensky for uniting the country against aggression. Deborah Lipstadt of the U.S. State Department's anti-Semitism envoy dismissed Putin's focus on Zelensky's Jewishness and argued that it was meant to distract from Russia's aggression against Ukraine. Putin has consistently tried to portray his war on Ukraine as an effort to denazify the country, a claim that has been widely rejected by the international community. Russia has also accused Ukraine of mistreating Russian speakers, drawing parallels to Nazi Germany, but these allegations have been disputed by the Ukrainian government and Jewish community. Putin emphasized Russia's commitment to fighting neo-Nazism, citing the country's losses during World War II. He expressed frustration that his perspective is not being heard by others. While Zelensky does not practice religion openly, he identifies as Jewish and has spoken about his family's experiences during the Nazi invasion of Ukraine. His great-grandfather and three of his grandfather's brothers lost their lives in the war, as his grandfather survived by joining the Red Army to fight against the Nazis. Zelensky's grandmother survived by leaving the country, but the majority of Jews who remained there were tragically murdered. Zelensky has also mentioned having relatives who moved to Israel during the 1990s, and he himself has visited the country as an actor and comedian. As a Ukrainian president, he has visited Israel once for a Holocaust commemoration event shortly before the COVID-19 pandemic began. This as Ukraine's first lady, Olena Zelensky, expected in Israel this week at invitation of Mikhail Herzog.